Hi everyone and welcome to a quick look at my YN568 EX Mark II. The second video that I'm going to do, it's not going to go on for too long, two or three minutes. Basically, I'm just letting you know how I'm getting on with the flash. I did a wedding with it and I used it for hundreds of shots a few weeks ago. It was a very damp, rainy, cloudy, awful day. And I used it on nearly every shot. If you're wondering what the Velcro is on the all around the top of the flash, that's for the um, for the bounce card that I made, the homemade DIY fun foam. I had that on all day also because it was really cloudy, so I was just bouncing off of that to give me some nice soft light, um, and it worked flawlessly. I can honestly say it works flawlessly. If you're thinking about getting one, get one. End of. It works perfect. It. It reminds me of my Canon 580X Mark II. It does everything that does. It does feel a little bit cheaper in your hand, which, I mean, to be fair, you would expect anyway. But it, as it works for now, it feels fine. Um, I mean, if it lasts me a couple of years and I've got to spend another 120 quid again, I would. Um, you know, my Canon one, though, I can say that I had for a lot of years. And when I sold it, the bloke still got it now and he's delighted with it. And it's fired thousands and thousands and thousands of times. Um, if this can live up to half its expectation, I'll be happy. But for now, it's absolutely spot on. What I will say is don't forget to use... Yeah, I mean, I've just done a video on ISO ramp, but don't forget to up your ISO a little bit with it. Don't... Don't think it is a Canon or a Nikon top at range where you might be able to fire it 20 full power shots in a row and it won't overheat. Um, I personally, I'm not saying it won't do it. I always personally up my ISO a little bit when I'm using flash so that usually it's flat, it's flashing around a, a, an eighth to a quarter power max. Unless I really want half power to full power, which sometimes I do um, if it's going to be a couple of shots. But as a rule... I like to put my ISO up a bit to really help that flash out so it's not working its little ass off. Plus, you don't need external packs. Um, if you turn your ISO up a little bit, you don't need external battery packs with you. Um, whereas, without external battery packs, uh, it's a bit lighter. That's why I use flashes anyway. I use flashes for my portraits and that now as well. I don't use studio lights anymore. It's all flash. It's easy to manoeuvre around. People ain't got space in their house for big studio lights. Um, so you best go in with a couple of little flashes. But you will have to up your ISO up. You will have to up your ISO a little bit. And you may have to not shoot at F8. You might have to shoot at F4, F5, 6. Just to make sure you shoot a little bit wider on the focal length. Like 24mm, something like that. 30mm. Um, and you'll have a lot more depth of field than zoomed into 50 or 70 or whatever. Anyway, yeah, if you're thinking about one of these flashes, get one. They're absolutely spot on. I have had the YN565EX just over a year now, year and a half or something, and that's still going good. Um, and I've also got this one now, um, which I like even better. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.